Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, uh, discussing olefin polymerization in the last uh, few lectures and the main focus of our discussion had been on the classification of uh, olefin uh, polymers uh, that uh, one can obtain through this olefin polymerization uh, process. One thing for sure uh, which is uh, very much evident uh, in our discussion so far that uh, um, polymers of different properties uh, can be obtained uh, through this process and these properties uh, can be uh, very diverse. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, they can be something very soft, they can be something uh, materials uh, uh, which are soft, there will be materials which are hard, uh, the materials uh, which can be deformed. Uh, material which will be resistant to deformation, there will be materials which once uh, deformed will re retain the new shape and then the materials which uh, are uh, 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 once the deformation is released, uh, uh, stress is released, it goes back and has a memory uh, uh, to its uh, initial state. So, uh, what we had come across is a wide variety of properties uh, that can arise uh, uh, in polymers and based on these properties uh, and their subsequent applications these polymers are classified. So, in this context uh, in our previous class uh, uh, we have uh, looked into uh, 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 three types of polymers. So, uh, the first that we looked into uh, uh, discussed was thermoplastic materials. Uh, these are the materials, uh, uh, they uh, exhibit uh, stability under short term strain, however, uh, upon uh, warming they transform into a plastic uh, that means they are easily deformed and they uh, retain the deformed shape. Uh, then uh, we had uh, discussed about uh, dura plastic materials. Uh, uh, and these uh, are materials which uh, uh, maintain their shape upon extended uh, period of uh, strain or high temperatures. Uh, they are usually formed by cross-linking pre-polymers by heating and this cross-linking formation is usually reversible and uh, this cross-linking is very fine meshed and they have very low segmental uh, mobility and as a result uh, of cross-linking duroplasts are rarely crystalline. Uh, in our earlier class, we had also uh, discussed another new type called uh, elastomers and uh, these elastomers uh, are the materials which can be easily deformed. Uh, 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 however, uh, uh, once the deformed uh, 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 stress is removed, they go back to their original uh, uh, shape. So, that means they have a memory of their initial step uh, shape even though they are deformed, once the deformation stress is gone, they go back to the original st uh, stress. So, these are elastic materials or rather properly uh, uh, known as uh, elastomers. They also are made up of uh, cross-linking of pre-polymers. Uh, 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 these pre-polymers are however long chain and they have wide uh, mesh. Okay. Uh, so, these are the three uh, uh, materials that uh, we uh, had discussed in the previous uh, class and today uh, we are going to start uh, with the fourth one. Uh, uh, which are uh, called elastomalic, uh, elastoplastic material or th thermoplastic elastomers. The fourth one that we are going to be uh, talking about are elastoplastic materials. or thermoplastic elastomers. Along the same line we are going to uh, uh, describe another 
form of uh, polymer which are called reversible duroplast. So, uh, today uh, we are going to uh, focus on uh, these two uh, polymers number 4 and 5 which is elastoplastic material and reversible duroplast uh, 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 before we move on uh, various uh, uh, classification of polyethylene uh, polymer. So, let us uh, begin by discussing uh, elastoplastic material or thermoplastic elastomers. or thermoplastic elastomer. And these uh, lie somewhere between non cross-slick, thermoplastic and so these uh, polymer lie in between. between non cross link thermoplastic thermoplastics which we had discussed earlier and cross linked elastomers. And this uh, is achieved by uh, 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 achieved uh, uh, in copolymers or in blends. Uh, they are achieved. They are usually achieved in copolymers. polymers of two different types in the same chain or in blends. Blends that have both duroplastic as well as elastomeric domains that have both duroplastic and elastomeric domains. At uh, uh, this work in such a way that at low temperature The mechanical properties of elastomer content dominate of elastomer dominate and that However, at higher temperature, the cross links of duroplastics domains are cleaved of duro domains are cleaved. and are cleaved and the material becomes thermoplastic. So, 
So, this is kind of uh, interesting that uh, these elastomeric materials or thermoplastic uh, uh, elastomers are actually a, a lie in between cross-linked thermoplastics and cross-linked uh, uh, non-cross-linked thermoplastic and cross-linked elastomers and they usually are synthesized by uh, uh, or they are achieved in a, a copolymers uh, co or in blends that have both duroplastic and elastomeric domains. At low temperature the mechanical properties of the elastomer dominate whereas at high temperature the cross-links of the duroplastic material domains are cleaved and as a result the material become thermoplastics and behave as a thermoplastic material. So, this is kind of uh, interesting uh, classification uh, of a new kind of uh, uh, poly uh, polymeric material. Uh, the last uh, in this uh, discussion before we move into polyethylene uh, is uh, this that of reversible duroplast. Now, reversible duroplasts uh, are uh, uh, exhibit properties which are uh, both duroplastic and thermoplastic materials. Of both duroplastic. and thermoplastic materials. And uh, the uh, their primary difference between uh, uh, duroplast uh, from duroplast is unlike uh, uh, genuine duroplast they are reversibly cr cross-linked in contrast to genuine duroplast they are reversibly cross linked And uh, you know, uh, in this case, usually this uh, chemical cross-linking uh, is often a result of coordination of ionic polymers to metal ions. So these are not like covalent uh, cross-link where there is overlap uh, of orbitals to make a bond. So these are mainly of ionic uh, cross-link uh, type. The chemical cross-linking. arise from coordination of of ionic polymers to metal ions. And uh, uh, so, uh, this is uh, unlike uh, the chemical uh, cross-linking which involves uh, chemical uh, bond uh, the, uh, uh, break a cleavage, this is more like a, co a coordination bond between ionic polymer and the metal ion uh, which gets reversibly uh, 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 cleaved uh, uh, during its application purpose. So, the other properties of reversible duroplast are include uh, partially crystalline thermoplastic materials th 
thermoplastic materials and also the reversible physical linking cross linking also the reversible physical cross linking is affected by lattice energy of crystalline domain now uh, this uh, is an uh, important uh, uh, property that uh, this re uh, reversible physical cross linking is affected by lattice energy as well. So, which sort of uh, uh, points to the fact that uh, 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 non covalent interaction uh, uh, are also uh, plays an important role in this uh, uh, material uh, which are reversible uh, duroplast. Now, now, so far we have discussed, uh, discussed five uh, uh, classes of uh, materials starting from thermoplastic, duroplast, elastomers, elasto, uh, elastoplastic materials and reversible duroplast uh, uh, based on the type of applications and the type of their material properties. Uh, now, uh, now uh, with regard uh, to uh, polyolefins, uh, the versatility of polyolefins can be gauged by the fact that uh, um, uh, that uh, there are polyolefins for each of these uh, categories uh, uh, have been prepared and that is why uh, they are so very important. So, the versatility about polyolefins is evident from the fact of polyolefin is evident from the fact fact that polyolefins that they have been prepared for each of the categories each of the categories are mentioned above. So, that uh, uh, shows how important uh, the, uh, this polyolefin uh, uh, are. Now, uh, with this uh, having uh, uh, defined what are the categories of uh, polyolefin. Uh, 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 classifications of polyolef uh, polyolefins, uh, uh, we are going to uh, in bit more detail and look into the type of uh, uh, classification that exists for polyethylene. So, polyolefins are classified according to their density. according to their density that arise from from their nature of crystalline extent of crystallinity extent of crystallinity then 
number and nature of cross linking, the number and nature of cross linking present between polymer chains polyolefins are uh, classified according to the density and this is uh, uh, something that arise uh, from crystallinity as well as number of nature of cross linking present between polymer chains now uh, based on this uh, we are going to now look into various classification of polyethylene which is a uh, kind of uh, important from our perspective. Now, cross polyethylenes are usually classified into three types. The first being LDPE. So, this is called low density polyethylene they are uh, usually a flexible flexible materials and transparent as a film. Their density varies from 0 0.90 to 0 0.925 and uh, their property is that they would have long chains with branches, small branches and the branch chain will have smaller branches as is shown here also over here the branch side chains will have branches and these are called low density polyethylene the next variation is called LLDPE. These are linear low density polyethylene. They are also fairly flexible. transparent and their density would vary from 0 0.925 to 0 0.94 and uh, they would also oh, have branches on the main chain. their side branches are uh, less. So, they mainly have branches in the main chain. So, that is why they are called linear low density polyethylene and the third of this type 
are called HDP or high density polyethylene. and they would vary from 9.4 to 0.97. They are usually rigid and often cloudy to even opaque. And they are just uh, polymer chains uh, without any branching. as is shown over here. So, uh, with this uh, 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 we come to the end of today's uh, uh, discussion where we have looked into various uh, the remaining two variety of uh, polymer classification including uh, elastomeric elastoplastic material or thermoplastic elastomers and reversible duroplast and uh, uh, finishing that we looked into uh, classification of polyethylene, uh, polyethylene uh, which are of mainly th uh, three types linear load uh, first is LDPE low density polyethylene that has a uh, density of around uh, 0.90 to 0.925 and they are uh, long chain polymers with branching on the side. Uh, then uh, we have linear uh, low density polyethylene where density is from 0.925 to 0.94 they are also flexible uh, and transparent uh, material. Here also uh, these have very short branches uh, uh, along the main chain, but not really big uh, uh, chain uh, branches. And last uh, we had this high density polyethylene having density from 0.94 to 0.97 and these are rigid uh, and cloudy to opaque materials which does not have at all any branching. So, with this uh, we come to uh, the end of today's discussion on uh, polyolefin classification. We are going to uh, look into uh, this polymer color classification in bit more de uh, detail when we meet next uh, uh, for ethylene as well as for polypropylene. And uh, I once again thank you for being with me in this class and we would have more uh, interesting discussion about this polyolefin uh, uh, classification uh, when we take up the topic in the next class. Till then, goodbye and thank you.